Kratos' top five badass moments, the God of War. Oh, that's right, baby. J-Rock is here. You are here with J-Rock to react to the top five badass moments of the God of War himself, Kratos. Come on back and let's check this thing out. If you smell. What J-Rock is cooking. Finally, finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in it with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. You're right here with J-Rock. And J-Rock came across a video that has Kratos' top five badass moments. Jarrah is a huge fan of the Kratos character, all right? The God of War game I played to death. I played all the God of War games. First one all the way to the most recent one. Played them all. Loved them. And so, about to check out these top five badass moments. Let's check this out and see what we got, champ. Number five. Let us open Pandora's box and slay the God of War, Ares. Is this the best you can do, Father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the God of War? Oh. After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally opened. The power of the gods unleashed. Uh, you are yeah. still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned. To kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. Mm. Yeah, I remember this. Your final lesson is I'm never gonna have this so long. Ah. I want to see a rematch on PS5. Huh. Yeah. PS5 is gonna have uh, from what it's been saying backwards compatibility all the way to the first person. Remember, Kratos, it was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me that night. 
I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. Ah. Your winner and Mount Olympus, God of War, Kratos! Kratos had done the impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. Alright, alright. That was number five. What's number four? Kratos seeks the orc, ends up tearing the Gemini clan, Castor and Polis in two. I don't remember this. Place your offerings for Elysia. You will decide if they are worthy and I will. I offer nothing. You presume to seek audience with the Oracle, and yet you bring no offerings? Bold. Stupid, but bold. Although, you must have good reason to seek the Oracle carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought appropriate sacrifice. I have come to see the Oracle, and that is what I intend to do. I would have liked to hear your story, warrior. It is a shame you failed to seek reason. Remove him. <laughs> They look scared in the mug, though. We have to find a better slave trader. Was this Ascension? Because I don't think it was in three. This wasn't in three. This might be Ascension. Let me know in the comment section. I can't remember. This was Ascension. I love these sequences in the game. But you have no place in our temple. You will never see the Oracle. My, quite persistent, isn't he? His persistence only means his death. <laughs> Oh, 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 hey, I wish they had more of these sequences in God of War, uh, for PlayStation, they had, a, they had, they had some, I just wish they had more. Ah, come here. Kratos is a straight savage, son. I am but an innocent. Ah. Hey. Straight savage. Number three. Kratos uncontrollably beats the gods of the seas Poseidon to death. Yeah, I remember this one. Trying to get the Z. Challenge me, mortal. A god of Olympus. 
Darkness! A true warrior does not hide, Poseidon! Leave the sea and face me! You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos! Now that's epic right there. Open up a game with a boss fight. Huh. I gotta go back and play God of War 3. That was my favorite one. Other than the, the most recent one. Like, the PS4 God of War, that beats them all hands down. But I do wish they had more of these savage moments like this. Huh. Ah! Punk someone in it. Huh. Hmm. Went into the sea and got his ass. Bring that ass here, boy. Shout out to DC Young Cloud. Zeus should have kept you where you belong. No matter how many gods fall, there will always be another to stand against you. Then they will fall, fall as, as well. well. Death of Olympus means the death of us all. Then prepare for your death, Poseidon. Oh man, this was a straight savage angle right here. What he did to Poseidon? Oh my! This one, the graphics on PS3 was kicking in. Ah! Oh, oh, son! Oh! Mm. Oh, son! Pump! Some of them. I was damn there at the top. You threw me back then. Where you think you going, son? For a little swim? Yeah, you can go for a swim. But you ain't gonna be able to see the water, mother. Ah, punk. Reminds me, one of my favorite movies was Clash of the Titans. I really, I really like that movie. Kratos shoots the god of the sun, Helios, out of the sky and proceeds to rip his head. Another God of Three reference. See, that just shows you just how brutal God of War Three was. I don't remember a whole lot of Ascension. But God of War 3, oh my god, the brutality in that game. If they ever made a movie about that, it ha it would have to be like CGI or something like that. I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. <laughs> save me now, as you once saved me from Atlas. <laughs> and I promise to repay you in full. If you wish to repay me. Tell me where I can find the Flame of Olympus. You ain't gonna tell him that, right? You will never defeat Zeus, Spartan. You will forfeit your life in trying. Of all the lives you should worry about, Helios. Right? Mine is not one of them. Feel the power of the sun! Ah! I remember that part. Oh, get a pump and a dump a mud hole in your ass and walk it dry. Right. Wait, wait! I can tell you that to destroy Zeus, you must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. Ah! Oh, savageness! Ah! Oh, savage! 
savage now. Ah, just rip his head off. Finish him. Ah. Fatality. Perfect win. Flawless. Number one, it has to be with a kill too. Kratos succeeded in his quest for vengeance and kills his father Zeus and the Titan Crawler. Oh my god! Look around at what you have done! Killed a god and a Titan. Kratos is one bad mother I see now. Only what I have come to destroy. Taking pity on you has been my greatest mistake, Kratos. Just as taking pity on this thing will prove to be your greatest mistake. This has nothing to do with her! It has everything to do with her! Put her down! As you wish. Oh, it's on, partner. Come here! This battle right here was an all right. Ah. Come Oh! The brutality of these games, man. I mean, this was like... This was some hard-hitting stuff back then when it was coming out. I mean... Good lord, this game. Eat it. You big dummy. Ah. You see that Elizabeth? Come and join you, honey. Oh. Wow. Just straight. Throat Kratos was. Oh my god! Oh! Pump! 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 Yeah! Oh! They make a God of War movie. Lord, that man is 
but great. Ah. Kratos is still whooping Zeus's ass. As we speak to this day, he is still whooping Zeus's ass. I mean, laying the smack down on his Rudy Pooh. Man, that was savage. Here's here's what I don't understand. Help me out with something. All right, this is something I just I can't I, I can't reconcile the two. In the recent God of War game, when Kratos was telling his son Atreus, he told him, I was born a god. But in the first game, we see he clearly was born a man, a, a, a mere mortal, right? Now, I'm not trying to sit there and say I know everything about the God of War. I've just been a fan of it, right? Maybe y'all can educate me on how they, what they try to say when he was reborn, when he was a God of War. That what they meant? Or that what he meant when he said he was born a god? I don't. You go back to that scene in the game where he was pulling Atreus in the boat right after he went and saved him. He told him I was born a god and so were you. Never quite could reconcile that. But anyway, these were some badass moments. Uh, there were a couple other moments that were pretty savage. Um, mm, what he did to that other god, um, oh, Gunner, I can't remember the god's name. The 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 one that that ran real fast with the with the boots on in God of War three, we cut his legs off. Oh, good god, that was savage. Um, what he did to Hades was ruthless. Like he literally kept peeling, taking his sword and peeling off big chunks of his like cutting. Like oh my god, this is like, oh. This is straight savagery right here. Like Kratos wasn't playing. Um, and how and what he did to Hercules' face in God of War Three? Oh my God! His face! Oh, oh man! That could have been in there too. Anyway, really enjoyed this video. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this. If you enjoyed J Rock's reaction to this, hit that like button and subscribe and join J-Rock on this electrifying journey to 1 million subscribers, all right? Um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon, all right? I'll probably make a separate video for everybody just to let everybody know the details or something. 
But uh, it's coming real soon. Probably within the next week or two. I'm probably going to do it because I've hit 100 subscribers and I told you I was going to do it. J-Rock is a man of his word and a man of the people. Right? But I'll tell you right now, you got to do two things. One, I have to be a subscriber to my channel. I will check. All right? And two, um, you have to be, you know, interacting and commenting on my videos. You can't just be, you know, a subscriber and say, ooh, I'm in, you know, let, no, no. You have to be interacting with the people's videos, all right? I'm not saying you got to be commenting on every single video, no, but I need to at least see that you're interacting with the channel, right? I need to see that. But more to come on that. Lastly, hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. If you smell what J-Rock is.